Okay, I'm here with my FTM200 and we're looking at APRS settings today. And there's a few settings on here that are really key to making sure um, the radio is doing what you expect it to. Um, lots of settings that you could we could go over, but I'm just going to go over a few that are will help you uh, get up and operating and troubleshoot. So the first thing we're going to talk about is uh, what you should do before you turn the modem on. And then number two, the importance of enabling dual receive. And then number three, uh, once you've turned your modem on, there's some icons on screen that will tell you if, if the radio is set correctly and it'll save you some time running around the menu. Okay, the manual offers this diagram and the APRS PDF available on Yaesu's product page for the FTM200. You'll want to go to the Files tab and look for it. Um, they offer in several languages, so you're going to have to go down the list a little ways, but it's definitely there. The basic manual that comes in a printed form um, has just the basics, so you're going to want to go and grab the extra manual to help you navigate your way through the settings on this. Um, the first thing it tells us to do is set up the GPS or location. Um, you can follow along on that. Oh, you will be asked to input your station's call sign. And then they tell you to go to the APRS modem, which is a switch that turns on, on and off. And I would preferred, would have preferred that they put that down the list. Um, setting the baud rate, the default is 1200, and I have gotten good results with that, so you, I did not feel like you would need to change that. And then uh, the thing that you're going to want to do to change right away is dual receive. And we're going to need to go up to item number 50 in the list. And the default is off, as you can see here in the video. Um, if you don't turn that back on, the way this radio works is the uh, default APRS is supposed to operate in the B band. And with it off, you can set everything else correctly, but you're not going to get any signals. Um, that can be changed so that the priority is uh, receive an A, but um, right out of the box, that's not how things work. So you're going to go from off pass priority scan to a b dual receive set that and we're going to go back to our main channel and the next thing you would want to do before turning on the modem is change the vfo and b from whatever it is by default or whatever you've been using to 144.390 that is the frequency in the u.s or aprs is generally operated so, put that up there, and we're just going to listen for a second and see what happens. And you'll notice a little bit of a challenge there. Um, the noise that comes through it sounds like the old modems of the early internet days. It's just computer noise, so you'll want to turn that off. You'll want to go to item number 74 on the list and mute that sound. I think I already have that by default here, but let's just look real quick. APRS mute is on. So when you have this item turned to on and it's set with modem on, we will not hear all that racket going on in the background. So let's go ahead and turn this back down there. And then we are going to Turn APRS on. Now I'm going to the quick menu here because I believe by default APRS switch is here. Um, if it is not, you will go to item number 73 in the menu to turn on your modem. And notice on the lower portion of the screen here it has an A12. That tells you that the modem is on, that everything is operating, and we will actually start receiving beacons and sending them out. So that is my tip number three there that we just covered a moment ago. Um, if that is not on, then something is wrong. So let's go back here and turn off the 50. Let's turn this to off for a moment and we're going to go back to the main menu. 
notice that the A-12 is gone. Um, see, it's very critical that some that setting, which is mentioned several times in the manual, it just isn't emphasized in a way that I would have preferred. You have to have dual receive on, or you just won't get anything going on on your APRS in the bead side. So I hope that this content has helped you on your APS journey. And if it's been valuable, leave me a like, leave me a comment. If you have some other information for folks that are joining this particular mode of communication, and I hope you'll come back for a future video. Talk to you later.